In this video, we're going to be having a look at this Logitech keyboard. This is the Logitech K380 keyboard and it's used for multiple devices such as iMacs, MacBooks, iPads. It can connect to multiple devices. You can even connect this to your phone technically. Let's open this bad boy up and have a look. So, this is how the package comes. It just opens straight up. Let's have a look at this keyboard. Alright, very nice. So it has a pretty good weight to it. That's my first impression. Nice. So I've never experienced this keyboard before, which is why I'm excited to have a look. So if you look at the keys, they feel pretty nice. We have this slip thing up here as well. So we need to take that off and it already comes with two batteries, which is really good. My first impressions are very happy, very nice. Liking this little keyboard here. And the reason why I wanted something like this is because it's portable, so I can kind of take it anywhere. I can also connect it to multiple different devices, such as like a phone, an iPad, or something like that. So I can take that on the go. So it seems really useful to have. I like some of these keyboards here. So we have circular keys, which are quite nice, and they feel pretty nice to touch. So that's how it sounds. Nothing like a mechanical keyboard, but it's definitely quite nice. There's a space bar. That's how that sounds. And we've got a few different options here. So on the F options, we have some Bluetooth settings over here. So we've got the Bluetooth, Bluetooth 2, Bluetooth 3. I'm wondering if that's to connect multiple devices. When you press F1, it actually lights up there. So that's how you can connect it to different devices, I'm gonna guess. It's already powering on because we have the batteries included. We also have the tab and it has like a screenshot option there, which is quite interesting. And overall, this is pretty nice, pretty sturdy. It doesn't come with a stand, but it comes with four sort of base pads, which are quite nice. This is a very nice keyboard that someone should buy for themselves. It's relatively quite affordable. It's under $100, so it comes with these instructions. So it literally just says, press down one of those buttons for three seconds, which is this yellow button here. So one of those for three seconds, and it can connect to multiple devices at once, which is absolutely incredible. It's not something that you can get with really other keyboards such as this magic keyboard that I have for Apple. So we'll have a look at the differences here. So this is a very lightweight keyboard, very, very light. And there's the sounds. This is sound quite nice, but very like tinny and empty in a way. This one has more of like a full sound, full weight sound, if that makes sense. It's a lot cheaper than getting the Magic Keyboard too, just putting it out there. Hmm, I kind of like the sound of this a lot better. This one seems a little bit less like full on the sounds, but it has that lightweight sort of sound, if that makes sense. So this Logitech keyboard also works with Mac and Windows, really nice solid keyboard. So now let's connect it up to a device and see if it's easy to connect. I'm wondering if it'll actually connect up to my phone. I just wanna see if it actually will connect to something like this. So I'm gonna go into my Bluetooth settings, check for other devices. It comes up with the device name here as well. So you can actually see it there. It says keyboard K380, that's how you know and it's instantly connected. So now, if I go to something like, I don't know, my notes app, we'll have a look, and it's typing up. There we go. So it connects to your phone quite easily, and I can press backspace. That's why I'm liking this keyboard, because it actually can connect to your phone. It's quite cool that it does that. Let's, uh, let's see. So we can actually change the volume settings here on the phone as well, using some buttons. It actually, can control Spotify. That is quite cool. And then, so it's got quite a couple of good shortcuts there. Let's press the tab button, but shift tab and see what happens. Huh. So if I press function and tab, it'll actually go back to the main screen. 
Just something funny there. Check this out. Actually it goes back to the main screen. That's quite cool. Two, one, two, three. It should hopefully come up. There we go. It's instantly connected. I'm kind of using it with the iMac and I can use it also with this. I'm gonna guess to switch between the two devices, I'll press Bluetooth one. And if I wanna go to this device, I would switch Bluetooth number two. And now it connects to this device. And it's working straight away, which is quite cool. And now I can also do the same to this device here, if I wanna actually add a third device to this. But right now, I think because it's so old, the Bluetooth isn't really working on this device, which is why it's not coming up. But it's just interesting that you can do that with this thing, which is under $100, but it's just something that this Magic Keyboard can't do, which is over $100. So yeah, you can use this for multiple devices. I really like this, and it's portable, it's pretty lightweight. Yeah, I think like I would definitely want to take this if I go traveling or anything like this. I love it so much. It's really, really good. I really do recommend this product for you guys. So like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And thank you for watching.